Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk a little bit about sidewall reflections because this is a really big element in our uh, presentation, in a, especially in our two-channel environment, whether it's in a control room or a personal listening environment or even a home theater room. You have to you have to think about good sound and what, what really is good sound? Well, we hear this word tossed around a lot of times. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, that's good sound. Well, let's Let's try to break that apart into its individual parts and see what we got. What is it? Good sound is a blend of direct versus reflected energy. So the straight line energy from your loudspeakers, that's direct sound. The reflected sound is the energy from the room, the side walls, the rear wall, the front wall, the floor, and the ceiling. All of those surfaces contribute something to the good sound. So good sound is a blend of direct versus reflected energy. Our sound stage is the area between our speakers hopefully extends past our speakers and our speakers uh, disappear when we close our eyes and we have this sound stage in front of us and on the sound stage we have a strong center image so all our vocals and everything are right in the middle between the speakers where they are we have a wide sound stage that extends past the speakers and we have an instrument and a vocal separation so we can hear everything that's the goal so when we, when we have good sound, we want to be able to hear everything with good separation on our sound stage, and our sound stage is created from a blend of direct and reflected energy. All right, let's stay with our sidewall reflection breakdown, and let's look at these reflections. Where do these reflections occur? Well, they're sidewall reflections, so they occur in the horizontal or lateral domain. This is our vertical, this is our horizontal or lateral domain. So what is the big thing with the reflections. What, what impact does that have on our good sound and what impact does it have on all the elements that we just listed for good sound? Image, focus, definition, separation, and all those good things that we just discussed. Well, the time variance between the delayed reflection and the direct sound, we haven't, that's directly responsible for image focus. And at the graphic at the end of this, I'm going to break them down into some uh, three parts for you and show you how just a little one or two millisecond delay has a large impact on what you're actually hearing. So the rate and level of absorption that you use for treatment has to be consistent with those, these time elements that we look at. So we have image focus, separation, and definition. Those are all our qualities of good sound that we discussed. We have a 10 to a 20 millisecond window between the reflection and the direct energy that we have to be uh, concerned about. So we have this really narrow band of time delayed energy that mixes with our direct sound from the loudspeaker that has all this information in it. So we have to be very careful with it. We have to manage it correctly. How do we do that? We, we look at our 10 to millisecond delay window that we have, and we wanna make sure we stay within that uh, that range for our time signatures on our reflections. So reflected energy contains a lot of information and we have to manage it correctly. So in, in graphic number five, you see that there's a, a really big impact on reflected energy over direct and it kind of wraps around the direct. I don't know if that's a very uh, accurate way to describe it, but I think it gives you an idea of the impact that it has on the direct signal. Graphic number six, we see that in the 10 to 13 millisecond range, we have impact on definition. We see that 13 to 16 millisecond range, we have an impact on separation. And then the 16 to 20 millisecond range, we have an impact on image shifting. So you see there's a lot of things going on in that 10 millisecond range that you have to get right. So if you're having difficulty getting your center image to focus correctly, get it defined, and getting it to uh, uh, be large enough, your sound stage large enough, and you have to deal with sidewall reflections and the time signature on those. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel, 
and keep uh, updated on our new videos.